Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use local adjustments in Lightroom to take your photos to the next level. Hi, I'm Tom Sloan. I'm a landscape and portrait photographer. And in today's video, I'm going to show you an edit of a photo that I made in Isle of Palms, South Carolina. Here is the raw image that I took. And when I was done with my edits, including those masks for the local adjustments, this is what the photo looked like. So I'll share with you that editing session and the adjustments that I made using those masks. And the last adjustment that I want to show you is how you can use the luminance range mask to highlight certain range of light that will only impact that luminance range, those values that you decide that you want to adjust. If you find this video useful, hit the like and subscribe, and please feel free to leave any comments. I really appreciate the feedback. So let's get right into the edit. So I'm starting this off just showing you the uh, before image. This is the raw image of the photo that I took at Isle of Palms Beach in South Carolina. The first thing I did was do some basic edits. I'm gonna turn those back on so that you can see the impact of them. But I'm not gonna go through them as much as I typically would because I wanna focus on the masking that I did. So these were the basic edits I did, and these, this is, follows my typical workflow. So um, what I've done here is I changed the white balance to cloudy uh, as opposed to as shot. To me, it felt a little, just didn't work for me. So I changed it to cloudy, uh, which added it, created a more cooler image, which is what I was more of what I was looking for. Up the exposure a bit, brought the highlights down, opened up the shadows. If you've seen any of my videos, that's a typical uh, thing that I do in my workflows. I added a little bit of white, dropped down the blacks, so introduced more blacks into the image. I upped the clarity and the dehaze, and just to kind of balance it off, I brought the texture down. Uh, and that was at a negative 10. So the clarity at 14 and dehaze at four. Uh, that seemed to work pretty well for me. And then uh, I bumped the vibrance up. I usually go up to 10. In this case, I went to nine and saturation, just two, very subtle. So those are the basic edits. So those are global adjustments that I made to this image. So what I want to start off with is showing you the mask and I'm, let's start with the an edit of the sky so I'm gonna let uh, Lightroom choose the sky for me so it did a pretty good job but you can see it didn't do a great job because over here it didn't see that as the sky so I'm just gonna add with a brush add the sky back in including the clouds just to introduce that back in All right, so having cleaned that up a little bit, I'm going to start with bringing down the exposure on the sky. Just maybe a quarter stop or so. Um, add some highlights back in. Do want to add a little bit of clarity. And I'll just do a little bit of haze and now what I want to do is just introduce this gradually so I'm going to do an intersect mask on this with a linear gradient so I'm going to pull that down and so it's a little more subtle it's right there so you can see the before and after of that mask so it just kind of brings the 
focus in, darkens the sky a bit. Next, I want to brighten up this foreground a bit, so I'm going to add another sky mask, but I'm going to invert that sky. So it's going to do the foreground here. What I do want to do is I want to, once again, I'm going to have to subtract out. So I'll do that real quickly. So what I want to do is I just want to brighten this up a little bit. Up the exposure on this a little bit. Open up some of the highlights. I thought that was a little dark. Introduce some more whites. And then what I do want to do is I want to introduce this gradually. So I'm going to do a linear gradient once again, because I think this foreground is a little too bright. So I'm just going to introduce this like that. So, just do the before and after of that mask. That was before. It just brightens that up quite a bit. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, highlight these clouds here. And I'm going to use a brush for that. I could use a radial gradient, but I think in this case I'm going to have a little more control with the brush. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to take the flow down to be about 60% and I'm gonna paint over these clouds and what I want to do is introduce some light into them and just have these clouds pop a little bit. I'll introduce a little bit more color as well. See over here these are pretty dark. So I could add exposure. Exposure is a little um, aggressive so I'm going to add highlights in into these clouds. You can see it's starting to pull out, pull in some light. Light was coming from the left in this case. Add some whites just to brighten that up. Um, I love magenta in the clouds, so there was a, already a little bit of that already in this scene and I'll add a little bit of saturation to get a little bit more pop of color. Then I'm going to add some clarity to the clouds, give a little bit more definition, maybe just a little bit of dehaze there. And I think that's pretty good right now. Let me just see what the impact here is. So if I turn that off. So that's off. That's on. So it did add a lot of highlights here. I'm going to just brush a little bit underneath the clouds to introduce that as well. Okay. Next thing, what, what I'm feeling is a little hot to the left here, so I'm going to add a linear gradient just to darken that down and pull the eye more towards the center. So I'm going to drag that gradient over. I don't want to bring it too far and then just bring the exposure down just to balance the light in the image. I think that's probably good right there. So you can see the before and after. Balances the light, uh, pulls the eye towards the center. The last thing that I want to do is I want to highlight the receding waves as it's pulling, you know, these white, these little white caps out here in the, in the sea and, and the receding wave as it was pulling out. So I'm going to add a, another select sky because I'm going to select that foreground. I don't want it to 
affect the whole image. So I'm going to select the sky. Once again, I'm going to invert that. I'm going to clean it up again. Probably a quick way to do this. Clean it up. I'm going to clean this up with a brush. Probably a quick way to do this um, by duplicating one of the masks that I had, but. There we go. All right, so now what I want to do here is I want to intersect this with a, this mask with a luminance range. And you click that, and then what it gives you is a dropper. And I want to, I think I'm going to take this wave out here and use that as the luminance range that I want to impact. Now you'll see what happens here is given this range and what I did as a picker and you can choose something else and it'll adjust again. What I want to do is I want to expand that selection a bit so that I get more of the white of those tendrils into the image that are going to be impacted by the adjustment. So I'm pulling it a little bit to the left and it's expanding the selection. So what I want to do here is I want to add some highlights. You can see it's adding highlight. I can add exposure too, but once again, that's going to be really aggressive. That looks crazy. So I'm just going to really pull that back significantly, maybe right there. Play with the highlights. Whites, I think, will help this out quite a bit. And so, if I go back up here and I turn that off, you can see off, on. It's really highlighting those waves, really a, a significant change, and it's really given it a little bit of pop. Might be a little bit much, but the nice thing about these masks is you can adjust what you've done down here just by pulling this slider and it's going to say, okay, I'll, I'll put that much of what you just did onto the image. And you can get a little more precise with what you feel is a, is a good setting. So I'm going to bring that down to about 85. So rather than messing with these individually, you can just globally that adjustment, 85% uh, of, I think it's a percentage, 85% of what this adjustment is down here. So if you look here, that's with it off, that's with it on. Okay, so as you can see, that is very powerful. This is this luminous range is is very helpful in terms of just impacting those parts of the image with that much luminance uh, value. Um, there's also the color range that you can also do a similar type of an adjustment. So that is what I'm going to do for this image. And so this was Isle of Palms, beautiful morning. I'm going to give you the before and after. Here's the before, the raw image. So I encourage you to continue to work with those masks to do local adjustments to your image. They're really powerful, can really make an impact to whatever the vision is for your landscape photography. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.